four things that you need to do to level up in 2024 if you include into your life this year it's going to take you from zero to 100 and if that is what you're looking for then this video is for you in three two one let's go for the past six months i have had the privilege to speak with c-suit leaders from large multinational companies in europe and in the us and some of them have been from africa and the middle east from my conversations with them here are two tips and tricks that i have learned from my conversation with these top leaders that will help you in leveling up in 2024. in this year we should actually look at transitioning from making money by just leveraging our time so time for money most people get paid hourly or they get paid a salary if you employ like these principles that i'm going to be talking about today you'll be able to take it a little bit further by being paid for your value one thing that value actually does for you is that it gives you the ability to be able to gain more freedom with your time and if you have more freedom with your time you can invest your time in doing things that you actually do love and one thing that i've seen with these top leaders is that they've been able to walk their way such that they occupy what you will call or what they usually refer to as critical roles i'm going to explain what a critical role looks like using medical expressions or medical terms to give more context i'm going to look at it also from the point of my background and my location which is africa when we talk about critical roles we are looking at tasks that require a high level of skill so for example when you step into an organization you meet people who can fit into that role and do about the same job so if you have an issue that exists within that level anyone that you meet in that organization can quickly get that solved and in time but someone who occupies a critical role would be someone who handles a case that requires more skill and more experience for example if you're going to have a heart transplant you would need a doctor who is specialized and have like many years of experience of course if you're looking at having the best success in that area so one thing that i noticed speaking with these people is that the more you level up to be able to occupy critical positions the more you'll be able to transport yourself from just being paid for your time to being paid for your value and one of the most interesting thing um like i said earlier is that you get to have your time back because you won't be really disturbed by the day-to-day -day running of the business or day-to-day -day regulars of the organization which most times for the most people may just be a little bit boring and it doesn't mean that you have to get a c-suit leadership position like being a ceo or co-founder to occupy critical roles but leveling up your skills and just getting on common different and better is going to afford you this thing so after this rambling let us go straight to the two things that i was able to gather from these people that if we employ in our day-to-day -day activities is we're not just going to level up in the point of money i know I, uh, the video sound more financial but it's going to be also i'm um, giving you more time to be able to enjoy your life and also do the things that you will love to do number one would be education and not just learning in the four walls of a school that could be part of it but what i really mean here is acquiring more skills now if you're a doctor for example you need to be able to step out from the day-to-day -day activity and look into areas that you are interested in and learning how you can rise in those areas by um, sharpening your skills and in most most cases some people already have good skills so um, education in this term could be getting certificates that back up the skills that you already you already do have um, i personally i'm doing that this year the most 
Um, I know I'm a very good sales um, consultant and I'm really good in conflict resolution and, you know, getting a team together. It's something that I have practiced over years. I have over 10 years of experience with working with small groups and team and uh, mid-sized um, um, groups and organizations. And this year, one of the things that I have decided to do is to get more education in this area that I am naturally talented in. So it is very important for you to educate yourself, learn new uh, musical instrument, learn new languages. Just give yourself to continuous learning. You see, if you are so much interested in the field that you are and you're so much interested in making the best out of this field and you're interested in um, what you're doing, being able to affect other areas of your life and giving you the leverage to have the best life that you've always dreamed of, this year you must give yourself to educating yourself and getting better at your skills. So let's do a quick, can you write one, two, three, one, two, three. What are the three areas of your life that you need to get better, improve your skills at? Find that online course right now. Get enrolled in that tutorial. Go do that online course. What are those three areas that you have to do and to get better? Sometimes it doesn't have to be in your core field. For example, you can be a doctor, but you can leverage more in learning the power of sound and maybe sound therapy, which could be something interesting. If you work hard at, you can bring into medicine and be unique and be able to occupy a critical role. So what are those three things? Write them down. Can you also put that in the comment section? And I will try to see how I can motivate you. Number two. <laughs> Number two is exposure. One thing that I've noticed um, from these people when I spoke to them was that at what time in their life they did find themselves in the right room, in the right environment, with the right people. One thing on the lining when I listened to them is that it was not by happenstance like it just happened it was by a stroke of luck but they got themselves in the right places like sometimes they got themselves in the right networking event sometimes they got themselves in the right relationships maybe how good they were at their work exposed them to mentorship from higher um, leader who took them to events to meet people and sometimes in those closed events in those closed rooms these are the places where you get simple tips and tricks it's just like a young doctor if he hangs around consultants in the next three months he's going to be evidently different from his regular pairs because he's had some certain level level of exposures it's very good to go out of your comfort zone there's some exposures that you may not be able to have in the area where you are so sometimes you have to spend money to get that visibility go for that conference which is top notch go to environment where you can meet people that matters and just sit and learn how they do things how they carry themselves how they work things like that go swimming go golfing travel if you can afford it give yourself the necessary exposure that will be able to increase the way you see life and increase how you think about things so i hope that i've been able to help you today um, with two things that can be very helpful the first point today has been to get education get better increase your skills so you can uh, occupy critical roles and then number two is to gain exposure be in the right places make effort to get in the right rooms sometimes it's not that you're not good enough but it's just that you're not you haven't just found yourself in the right environment and the right environment comes with key information strategic information that can set you apart so these are two things that i think can make you level up corporately I think that should be how this video should be titled because I think we spoke more about corporate um, leveling up and I hope that you would apply these two things that would make you stand out in 2024. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe, leave your comments if you have other questions or you have other tips you want to share. Please do share in the comment section and I would see you in my next. Bye-bye.